just a sec. Um, I just better go and first um, switch off. Ooh, oh, that's better. Ooh, slightly agricultural, that one. I haven't any sweet corn in for weeks. No. Had lots of comments on the last blog. All of them from Graham. About trying to be middle class. And which one are we now? How do you tell which class you're in these days? We all go to work. Except for our neighbour down the road, who despite never having had a job, doesn't seem to have any time to clean up his front garden. Always handy to have a fridge out front, I suppose. No. Are we all working class because we go to work? Or are we all middle class because we eat avocados? Well, I've come up with the definitive foolproof test. The chips and ketchup test. Simply sit someone down and give them a plate of chips and have a bottle of ketchup on the table. Then observe. If they take the bottle and pour the ketchup all over the chips, they are working class. If they pour ketchup on the side of the plate and dip the chips into that, then they are middle class. But if they just sit there, looking slightly confused, staring at the ketchup bottle, waiting for someone to serve them, then they are upper class, like Prince Charles. I read recently that Prince Charles thinks the world smells like wet paint all the time, as when he's doing an official walkabout in some place he wouldn't normally be seen dead in, like the North, there's always someone frantically painting walls white a hundred yards ahead of him, so he doesn't have to look at graffiti, or they're spraying the mud green, so it looks a bit like grass. Anyway. As I say, chips and ketchup, foolproof. And if they don't own a bottle of ketchup, but just use the plastic sachets they've pilfered when having lunch at the local Weatherspoons, then they are my neighbour. Thank you.